triangle and scribe in a circle always be a right triangle, nothing else. Dali's known for quite a few things. Although he was apparently supposed to take the position of an engineer, he is the first known mathematician, scientist, and philosopher, so he was a pretty big guy. He is recognized for breaking from divine explanation or mythology of the day in order to explain natural phenomena or justify natural phenomena, right? Back then, when you ask someone something like, why are there trees? Then they would say the god of plants or like the god of nature. I believe that it was Persephone, but I don't know that much about Greek mythology. Many people in the ancient civilization believed in divine explanation in order to justify natural phenomena. However, Thales broke away from that. And even though his ideas, at least in the scientific realm, weren't exactly revolutionary, he was still recognized because he stood out from the others. Let us start with his discoveries in math, just to give you a sense that he is a sort of good mathematician and scientist. And so he had two great theories in math that we still use today. One is a bit more complicated to explain and prove. And it basically says that any triangle inscribed in a circle always be a right triangle, nothing else. If the legs of the triangle would fall too short to make the hypotenuse the diameter of the triangle if it was anything else. That's just a basic explanation. And the other is something about proportion. If you have any two lines that intersect at a point and draw two, and then draw two parallel lines that are spaced between them, then you get proportion. It's a bit hard to explain when you have no whiteboards or smartboards or blackboards behind you and you're just walking outside in the freezing winter with nothing but a suit behind a big tree. But still, it, that, those were two of Dali's theorems. Just to give you the sense that he had some, some good discoveries that were influential to math as well. However, in science, he was a bit less proficient. Let's first start with possibly his most ridiculous idea. The Earth was a flat disk, according to him, that was floating on a river. Why? Well, he believed that everything came from water. Water was the primary source. And, in fact, that may have been, although that is just speculation, where his name comes from. However, in Phoenician, water means Dal. And thus, that may have been where his name, remember, Dalis, came from. Not Dalis, Dalis. Also, you may be wondering, why do we have his name attached to those two seemingly random theories? Well, that's because supposedly, according to ancient historians of today, and you know that sometimes ancient historians aren't always right, the ancient historians of the day thought that he had actually, uh, he was the first to prove it. Um, according to ancient historians, he was actually the first to prove these two theorems. I only know that for the first one, and I don't really know where that second theorem with proportions, why his name is attached to that one. He also thought that everything came up from a single source. This is pretty good when you're talking about biology, but he literally thought everything. Why? Because he noticed that things tended to turn into one of two things, air or slime. What, he exa what exactly he meant by slime is not known. Meaning of slime is just a bunch of sticky materials coated with some fabric or some dye and some other stuff to make it sticky and to make it playable with and to make it fun. However, back in those days, I don't exactly know what he meant by slime. Just making me a bit queasy, you know? Also, also thought that lodestones were alive because they were attracting metals. 
he is also supposedly the, uh, the first ever recorded person to record the magnetic properties, at least in a different way than we would do it nowadays. But still, he was the first person, supposedly, to record the magnetic properties of the lodestone. And so, that is why we remember him, because he broke from some, the divine explanation of natural phenomena, like, for example, the street that we visited twice. God damn, it's almost dead winter is approaching. That's why I'm feeling so cold. And so, but also, we remember him for his contributions to mathematics.